BF Dynasty, how are y'all doing today? How is the fam doing today? I hope y'all are doing great. Me, doing all right, you know. Y'all seen by the title, so obviously I'm doing very great because we're back with Universal Yums. The holiday box, as you can see, because it's in red. And y'all know I love Miss Universal Yums and I haven't been able to get it for the last couple of months. Um, Financial, you know, things, but I was able to get the holiday edition which i get every year and i always love the holiday box um guys first off you know we'll let you guys know that i love you guys i'm glad that you guys have been sticking around with me and rocking with me for this long all of my supporters from the very beginning you know who you are thank you so so much thank you for supporting the dinosaur thank you for coming a part of the family um Stick around for the whole video because I do have an announcement at the end that you don't want to miss. Little, little, little bit of stuff going on, but let's go ahead and get into this Universal Yum box because I'm excited. Now, if you don't know about Universal Yums, they are a monthly subscription box um, of snacks and cookies and cakes and all types of goodies from all around the world. Each month, they feature one country and I believe the last two months I missed. I wish I would have been able to get. I think one of them was, I want to say the Netherlands or Switzerland. One, one of those countries that we haven't done before, I missed out on. And kind of a little sad about that, but it's okay. We got the holiday box. The holiday box they, they do once a year around Christmas time. If y'all don't know, Christmas is like one of my favorite holidays. I love Christmas. I love being able to buy gifts for my family and friends and just seeing their face when they open it and just the excitement that they have and just, I love it. So, um, Christmas is right around the corner, guys. Can you believe it? This year about to be over with. 2021 is about to be gone. But back to Universal Young. So for the holiday box, what it is with the holiday box is they feature countries from, they, I think they feature like, in 10 maybe eight or nine countries in one box basically i think it's like from the countries you already had this year um and it's just all in that one box so this is a very 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 good box and i'm excited to get into that if you want to purchase your universal young box especially this holiday one you don't want to miss out the link will be down in the description below make sure you check that out you get five dollars off your first box they have um the Yum Box, Yum Yum Box, Super Yum Box. Uh, of course, I have the Super Yum. Check them out. You don't want to miss the holiday box. It is awesome. Now, let's get into this box because I'm ready. You know, I have my trusty water. Got to have that. And my paper towels. If you don't know about essential water, there's essential water here. It's good. Especially you have acid reflux. Now, I know you're probably looking like, what is this thing here? So, this is a wedge pillow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see how it's like fat up the top and then it gets slim at the bottom. That's what a wedge pillow is. I kind of use this sometimes to lay on when I deal with my acid reflux. It helps me sit up and not lay flat. And you're not supposed to lay completely flat when you're dealing with acid reflux because if you if you know, you know, if those who don't know with acid reflux, the acid sits there in your stomach. Um, so acid reflux is basically when the acid builds up in your stomach. It produces, your stomach build, produces excess um acid and so the acid sits in your stomach and when you're laying flat that acid is just laying in and wants to come somewhere and the only way it's going to come is it's going to come up and it's going to cause you a lot of problems indigestion you may burp up the acid uh, for cases so the wedge pillow what it does is it helps you sit at an angle so that the acid stays level and not wanting to come all the way up and staying level down there if that makes any sense. But enough about the health talk and the stuff like that. I know you're not here for that. Y'all here for this box. Let's get into this box. I'm, I'm excited. I know you'll probably notice I have on a different scarf today. Different color. And I didn't even realize that it kind of matches my shirt. I know you've probably seen this shirt. I know y'all probably like you wearing it already. Yes, this is the shirt from my Nickelodeon box. Check that video out if you haven't already. And this actually glows in the dark. I haven't checked it out yet as far as it glowing in the dark. I think this came with the fall Nickelodeon box. So check out that video. It was an awesome box. And it fits so well. Alright. Let's go. Let's get into it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. When you open it up, you get this insert here. 
and it has things here on the back. It has a list of all the yums, and you can rate them which one is your best, which one is your worst, and which one is your weirdest. You guys, I haven't done this in a long time. They have like a little scavenger hunt down here at the bottom as well. On this side, you have a bunch of different facts. And this says, ready for a holiday parade of flavors? I am. So then you also get this little sticker. I tasted the world this year. So basically, it's going to be snacks on probably every country that we've already done. Here's the booklet, which is the most important thing because it, it lists the nutritional facts. It lists an, um, a recipe. It has trivia different facts about it and it has the and it lists the yums as well in the box as well as the ingredients at the bottom so if you're allergic to anything like myself but thank god i'm not allergic to really anything food related um but if you're allergic to anything that has to do with food make sure you check out the ingredients before you eat it so you don't have allergic reaction that's one thing i love about that's the one thing i love about universal yums because they have that option and yeah, the recipe, this is the most important. So I'm going to give you guys just a sneak peek. Really quick. You ready? One, two, three. Bam. Okay. Just a quick sneak peek of what's in, what's in there. We're going to get in this right now, though, because I'm excited. So the first thing up in the book, guys, that we're going to try. As soon as I get to it. Uh, ew, I won't be trying this. I don't even know what it is, but I probably won't be trying it because I don't eat popcorn. I think it's this here. Yep, so this is green tea and strawberry popcorn. Y'all know I don't really eat popcorn, so I won't be eating it. I'll, let me, I'll taste the flavor on the outside. Just so you guys don't be saying, oh, come on, I'll taste, about, I'll, I'll taste the outside. So, this is the green tea and the strawberry, as you can see. Yeah, no, I don't like strawberry. Nope, and that tastes like seaweed. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. All right, next up. Um, it's not this. I think it's this down here. Small bag, yep. This is goat cheese and espalette chili potato chip. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So, it does have the country listed. So, the green tea and red flower popcorn. Which is a strawberry and matcha popcorn combo. That was from Nupe City, Taiwan. So, it actually gives us the city, too. That's cool. Now, this one, the goat cheese and the chip, chili chips are from St. Jerome, France. Okay. But you probably could already tell because of the flag. Can you tell that the flag right there? That's the French flag, so I'm trying to give it a little bit of the French anyway. Ooh. Ooh ooh. Oh, but it ain't spicy. I really don't have a lot of my stomach, you know, this acid reflex is gonna act up. It's like a ripple. You see the ridges? It's like a ripple. Ripple chip, one of those, you know. Kenny. Nope. Oh, no. I don't care for that at all. Ooh. That just threw my taste by the way off. Okay. Um. I don't even know where to go to next because I, I can't even find it. Yeah, I'm going to get this stuff here and I'm just like, what in the world? I can't find the next item. But the stuff looks awesome. Like, I'm looking at this stuff and I'm just like, wow. Okay, where is my next item? Oh, here we go. Oh my god. I can't wait to get it, y'all. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, let me stop because I'm, I'm super excited. Oh, look, I'm getting two. I'm not even showing y'all. These are the Prosecco bonbons. This is from Devon, UK. Prosecco with wine. So they look like this. Oh, that's what gave me a nasty taste. I don't like that goat cheese. Mm. 
It's not too hot. I'm probably going to be because that flavor is getting that other flavor out. Mm hmm. It's okay. Actually, pretty good. I like that. Oh, it's pretty good. Next up, guys, we have never seen this before. This is popcorn flavored cocoa truffles. Chocolate truffles. And this is from Chateau Sir Sartre, France. I've never had this before. Alright, so it looks like a normal chocolate truffle. But, it's not. The chocolate is good. It's really dark chocolate though. And I taste the popcorn bits. Mm -mm. Pop some other truffles in here because I really want the truffles. But those ain't it. It's popcorn flavored truffles, and I don't, I don't, mm, I don't care for that. All right, next up, we have from Santa Fe, Argentina. It's a Dolce de Leche filled plum cake. Wow, I like Dolce de Leche. Dolce, Dolce de Leche. Looks like that. And it has a soft and airy with Dolce de Leche jam inside. So, comes like that. Mm-hmm. It's very thick. And it's sweet. Alright. Next up, you already know. Baklava. I'm not trying it. There goes to pop. The tobacco powder comes in here, so I won't be trying that. But he says he likes it, so. Alright, so next up we have some chips. Also, the tobacco powder came from Amal Jordan. These chips, I know you've probably seen it already. This is what it looks like. But yes, it says roast beef and Spitfire ale potato chips, potato crisps. And this is from Warming Ford, Colchester, UK. And I don't know what the heck Spitfire L is. Uh, the L, right? It should have especially cracked in a pocket for the shepherd. And brewery. So the dark L flavor. So L and like roast beef, steak, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're going to make it a little hard. Oh, it smells like roast beef. Oh. I wish you guys could smell that. It smells just like roast beef. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh. That literally about, that literally about made me gag. Oh my god. I'm disappointed right now. I'm a, I look, oh, you seen with the sad face. <laughs> I want to cry. That was meh. A big meh. Alright, 
right, let's get something, uh, something that I know I'm going to want to deal with. But, let's get it out the way. We have Turkish Delights. And we all know that's from Kirkalarily Turkey. I know I pronounced that wrong. I don't have, know how people love Turkish Delights. I don't care for them. They're powdery. Not as sweet. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not getting the right brands. I don't know. I just don't care for them. They have a rose, a lemon, and an orange flavor. I hope I get the lemon or the orange. And I hate the rose because it tastes like flour. And of course, I don't know what I'm getting because they're covered in powder. I hope it's like the lemon or orange, please. Like this orange. This is a little harder. That's orange. That's orange. That's not bad. These are not too bad. That's powder sugar. <coughs> Look. Mm-mm. That's why I like that. The powder sugar is everywhere. Oh no, it's okay. Ooh. I'm being nosy. I know I am. I don't care. Oh, they messing me up this week. I mean, this month. I'm not liking that. Okay. Next up. I'm excited about this. <clears throat> <clears throat> this. Tell me the pot sugar is talking me up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. We're back. This I'm waiting on. This is Cappuccino Cream Cocoa Pandan. Pandora. Yeah, I know I love my coffee, so this is about to be epic. It says, this is from Pierantonio, Italy. This is Italy's famously soft and sweet holiday bread. Oh, if you guys can smell that. Ooh, and it is soft. So I'll let you look at the inside. Look at that. I just broke this piece off. And it is so, look at that, it is so salt. I think it's supposed to be cream in the middle, but I'm not sure. So this is cream, but I don't see any. Unless it's in the middle, oh it is in the middle, okay. So I'm just going to taste a little bit of the cream with my finger. So this is Okay, this is the cream. Oh. Can you guys see the cream in there? Hold on. Because. Mm-hmm. 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 You gotta get it with that cream. Without the cream, it's a little, a little hard to get in, but that's good. <clears throat> Must be in that bag. Y'all ready? Next up we have Christmas Pudding Fudge. Um, this is from Devon UK again. Uh, so it's a UK Christmas tradition with a fudgy fudge e spin. And it's just coming individually wrapped. Now it's a little cold, so maybe a little hard. Um, 
So I'm just trying to like work it a little bit just to get work just to get it, you know, work. And when you start moving it around, it gets really soft quick. So let me hurry up and open it up. And it's like, oh, it's a figgy pudding, but you know, get ooh, I like that smell. You know, to get us some figgy pudding. I'm belching already. Oh no, that's not it. Mm. Oh, that's not it at all. Ah, uh, we just gonna move on from that. That was definitely a big me. Um, next one is from Stage S T E G E Denmark. And it's this little big hunk of chunk of burning love. And I'm excited because this is cinnamon spice cookies. Ooh, you can saw the cinnamon right off the bat. So that little ginger snap. Probably would be good with ice cream. So they look like that. They smell heavenly. You know what these taste like? So it has like a burnt molasses taste. Is this molasses in here? Yeah, so spikes with Danish molasses. Okay. Like a burnt molasses taste, but it's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, good. Okay. So next is in this bag. <clears throat> I'm scared. Okay. This is called Glog Cola. Mold wine toffee. This mulled red wine spiked with cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, and ginger. Oh, so I know this is going to be like very like cough drop kind of. Oh, look at the color. Oh. That's going to end well for me. Let's go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, my God. No. That's not for me. Sorry, but that is not... For, oh. That's no. No, no, that's not it. I'll say, I will say this. Very interesting, to say the least. Oh my god, I don't want to try this for y'all. I really don't, but I know y'all want me to try it. So this next item is from New Taipei City, Taiwan. Just guess what it is. Just take a while, guys. The dreaded egg yolk popcorn. Why? I don't understand it. These are disgusting. Oh, it's like an egg yolk. Oh, smell like an egg yolk. <laughs> see, Dynasty, you see what I do for y'all? 
I need y'all to get these subscribers up. Because I'm doing a lot for y'all. I do not want to try this. Oh, I'm about to start crying. I don't want to try this. Oh, my God. <sighs> By me trying this alone, I better get at least an extra 500 subscribers to this, to this channel. Because this is horrible. Mm -mm. I can't even throw it up. I got my napkin with all my stuff in it. Oh no. Oh my throat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that is. That is horrible. I don't understand how people say they like that. Oh, I feel like I want to throw up. I know I'm just probably tired of me saying that, but I do. That just, just made my stomach just churn. Do I want to try the rest of this for y'all? I guess I have to, huh? <sighs> Next up, we have this nice big bag. And these are garlic and parsley bruschetta bites. And these are from Casale Torinese, Italy. Oh, they smell garlicky. Look at it. All right, I got to show y'all the inside of this because that is crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to try to get you guys to see it. But look at the inside of this bag. Can you see all of that? Gar look at that. Look at that garlic in there. Oh, my God. It's just so much caked up there. Oh. Look at how I'm trying to scoop some on there. Oh my gosh, this is what it look like. Uh, uh, I'm not, that's, that's going to come out of my pores. It's so garlicky. You know what it would have been perfect with? I kid you not. My dad had just made some lasagna a couple of days ago. It would have been perfect with it because it tastes like garlic bread. I can watch him eat this whole bag of them. But I know it be garlic out. So let me sew this up because I do like these. I'm going to keep these. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Love a little. Oh. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was good. Okay. Next up. Mm. It has nuts in it, so I really don't even want to try it. But this is cocoa covered cardamom nougat, pistachios, and almonds. That this second it sweet. And no, I'm not going to try this. This is uh, also from Amon Jordan. This is actually something new. I've never seen this. But I'm not trying this because it has nuts in it, so it's not going to make a difference if I try it or not. I know you guys probably like, go ahead and try it anyway. I don't eat nuts, so. This is pointless. Not gonna try that. Next up, we have this nice big bag of lemon icing coated gingerbread biscuits. Oh my god, these look so good. These are from Tururi Poland. They look so good, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. They look awesome. Oh, you can smell it. That's what they look like. They look awesome. Are these soft? I'm not even sure. Mm hmm. Now we'll say this. It would have been better. The lemon 
The lemon doesn't really give nothing to it. I mean, you taste the lemon ice on the outside in the very beginning. I mean, the lemon is definitely there. But then, afterwards, the ginger kind of overpowers the rest of it. So, it's like, why is the lemon there? Well, we take the lemon on the outside, definitely. Meh. I wish I had more high hopes for this, but it is what it is. All right. This is funny. My brother will probably enjoy this little laughter. But the next up we have is in this bag. And it's called. Wait a minute, is that everything? Oh no. What is this? Hmm. Some I'm not trying, but. Okay. So, next up we have Triacle Toffee. And I'll say something. This is something my brother will probably find humorous. Because this is from Harry Potter, if you don't know. This is Harry Potter's favorite Christmas candy. Says it right there. Um, I don't know what's in this. This is extremely chewy candy. It's, I'm so I've been sucking this for a minute and it's still hard. Uh, it's not bad. I just want to make sure I didn't cut my tongue. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Oh, why? I should have been trying this. It's from France. St. Geraint, France. These are sheep milk cheese and cherry potato chips. Why did I say this? I should have ate this. A long time ago. Oh God. So they were just like the other one. You can see ripple. I don't know, they really didn't have so much of a taste to it like that. They were okay. Now, next up, I don't even want to try it. I'm mad because they didn't put my regular truffles in here. They gave me these stupid looking truffles that I don't care for. These are, these are, this is the last one. This is Pop Rock. Pop Rock Cocoa Truffles. Why? I don't know. This is stupid. Nope. No, uh, a dark chocolate is too. It's too dark. I wouldn't even give it to my brothers because they wouldn't even eat that. It's, that chocolate is just too dark. I don't know. But that was everything in the box, guys. It was an RA box. Probably could have did without getting the holiday box this year because it wasn't everything I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Definitely these bruschetta chips. These bruschetta. Garlic ones are my favorite, hands down. My favorite. The weirdest to me. The 
Go red. Um. I have to think it's a tie between um where are they? Did I lose them? Between these roast beef and the lemon um gingerbread. Those two are the two weirdest for me because that the lemon kind of threw me off. I wasn't expecting that. And then that roast beef. It tastes just like roast beef. I wasn't expecting that. Y'all know these are the worst. These are disgusting. I don't know who makes these. I don't know why they make these, but these are nasty. Never again. Never again. Oh, the smell. Oh. The bag wasn't all... The bag wasn't all the way sealed. So when I try to close it, that's... Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Nope. I'm upset. That was disgusting. Oh. So. Remember in the beginning of the video when I told you guys I had an announcement. And just stay tuned to the full video. Well. I know you guys have been wondering where I've been. Um. With not making my videos and things like that. Now, I did tell you guys I was working, but that wasn't the only reason why I haven't been able to make videos. I had doctor's appointments and stuff like that. Having some health issues. And, um, so I found out I'm having some neck issues that I have to get taken care of. And so, um, I might be another little hiatus with me not doing the boxes only because with me dealing with the neck issue and working, I have to balance that sort of. And so, you know, and I'm off on the weekend, so that'll probably be when I upload videos, when my boxes come in, you know, when I have time, when I'm not resting. Um, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still rocking with the, the Dynasty. I know I love y'all. And I appreciate your t continued support and love. Because without God, I wouldn't have a channel right now. So thank you guys so much. A lot of people they say they do YouTube for the money. You shouldn't do it for the money. You should do it for the love. And then once you get monetized down the road, so that's just the perks to it, you know. But I do it just to entertain you guys. I love the feedback. Whenever I get comments back from you guys, from my loyal subscribers, when I get comments letting you letting me know that you love the video. Wishing me well, stuff like that. It warms my heart because I let you know that I'm doing something to, to brighten you guys' day every day. So, but without further ado, guys, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here because I am done with this stuff here. A lot of this stuff is going in there, probably going in the trash or whatnot because I was definitely not to eating it. This cocoa cappuccino, though, yes, sir. He's trucking. No, sir. <laughs> but guys, I guess until next video. But hopefully it will be soon. Hopefully it'll be another lunch pack coming up soon. We'll see. You know, depends when it comes. Hopefully it comes before Christmas. And I mean, if not, all is well. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. I love you, SPF Dynasty. I guess that's it. Bye, guys.